So I just got uh, 20, 20 dot, uh, four. So if we touch down here and go to uh, software, uh, additional information, here you can see uh, what my car includes. Here's some additional vehicle information from some mo other Model 3s and Model S's. Welcome to Tesla Life. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the video with your friends. And I would appreciate it if you'd press that little like button. If you're thinking of buying a Tesla, please use my referral code, Nicholas4590. So I just got uh, 2020 dot, uh, four, I believe. And it seems to just have one additional new feature, uh, additional vehicle information. You can see your vehicle information under the uh, control software, uh, additional vehicle info. So if we touch down here and go to uh, software, uh, additional information, here you can see uh, what my car includes. So it looks like I have the uh, premium uh, audio system. It identifies your uh, audio system. Autopilot computer, I still have 2.5. I'm waiting to get my 3.0 upgrade. I've bugged my service department twice so far, and my VIN number has not come up yet. Uh, the cell connection uh, number, uh, door, uh, garage door opener, it looks like it's using Homelink 5 option 2 or up 2, uh, must be the uh, version of the Homelink that is in the computer. I wonder if anyone has anything else other than that. Uh, I don't think it's changed or read much about that being changed. And the motor type, I uh, got my Model 3 back in March of 2018 and uh, it has the permanent rear uh, magnet motor. So uh, that's what I got. I don't have the front motor. I'm sure there's a few other options uh, for some cars, but now we can see exactly what we have uh, installed on our uh, cars. Here's an example I found of a Model 3 with the uh, full self-driving 3.0 hardware and the front motor. It's an induction motor. Here's another Model 3. Uh, interesting audio. Uh, premium speakers, but no external amplifier. Uh, and uh, the garage door opener is not installed. So I don't know whether it's just not configured or it doesn't have the hardware inside it. Here's a Model S with the adaptive uh, suspension and full self-driving, uh, the cold weather package. Uh, and notice that the motor type front is permanent and the rear is induction. That's a little different. So this release doesn't appear to have any uh, fixes uh, that I've outlined in my previous video, which is the uh, staying in the left lane. Now, what I've read is uh, nav on autopilot uh, staying in your left passing lane uh, is solved with a 3.0 hardware upgrade. So I guess they're just not going to fix it for 2.5 and they assume all the cars will be upgraded uh, to 3.0 or they're just waiting uh, to do a fix uh, so at some point later. Um, what else uh, is problematic? So it's pinging uh, in the lane a little bit. I don't know whether that gets solved with 3.0. Um, the auto windshield wipers are still not ideal. Maybe they've gotten a little better. Uh, so uh, this release, first release in 2020, but uh, no major fixes uh, or uh, additional features other than being able to see it's installed in your car. Thanks everyone, talk to you soon, bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe on the top left and share the video with your friends. My other Model 3 videos are here in the middle. If you want 1,000 miles of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts are on the right. And check out my new channel, Pickleball is Life. It's a great game, and subscribe on the bottom left. Take care.